I need you to go quickly to Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21. And then I need you to go to Ezekiel chapter 13, verse number 1. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21. And Ezekiel chapter 13, verse number 1. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse number 21. And Ezekiel chapter 13, verse number 1. I'm going to start reading uh, from both of those. I want you to come here, William. I want, uh, I want you to come here because one thing I love about uh, this electronic technology is it is able to record when things are actually received. Uh, will you read that date there? Just read that date. What does that say right there? October 19th, 2023 at 8.24 p.m. Say it again. Say it again. October 19th, 2023 at 8.24 p.m. Say it one more time. October 19th, 2023 at 8.24 24 p.m. Yeah, October 19th, 2023, at 8.24 p.m., I was in a season with the Lord, and I was reading, and the, the Lord directed me to do some reading, and then he began to speak to me, and I'm going to share with you uh, what he said. Now, this, these are the, the prayer points, so I want you to get it, but I got to read, and if we pay attention we'll only need to spend about 15 20 minutes in prayer and we'll get some devils by the tail and run them off you understand and and open away here now watch this uh, 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 ezekiel 21 i'm sorry ezekiel 12 verse number 21 if you're there say i am all right ezekiel chapter 12 and verse number 21 it says and the word of the lord came to me saying son of man now this is god speaking to his prophet ezekiel who he has made a watchman ezekiel is a watchman during the time uh, that the children of israel are going into the captivity of babylon and during the time the children of israel are in the captivity so what has happened is please pay attention a nation Israel who never thought they could be invaded or taken captive has been invaded and taken captive by the adversary he that has ears to hear let him hear and they are now in a position where they need a move of God and a restoration are you still here and the word of the Lord came to me saying son of man I hear in Israel, everybody saying this proverb, that the days are prolonged and what God has said doesn't happen. Are y'all here? God is saying this to his prophet. Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel, which says the days are prolonged and every vision fails? Tell them therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will lay this proverb to rest and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel but say to them the days are at hand and the fulfillment of every vision y'all aren't here in other words God, God said I'm about to bring stuff to pass I said and people who have been wondering is God's word true is what God says come to pass he said I'm about to put that to rest even the scoffers who don't think Jesus is coming I'm about to put that to rest but say to them, the days are at hand and the fulfillment of every vision. Grab your neighbor's hand and tell them everything God has promised you, the heavens are postured to fulfill. You're not talking strongly enough. Tell your neighbor everything that God has promised you, the heavens are postured and the angels in position. To fulfill not too loud guys stay with me for no more shall there be any false vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel in other words I'm about to move false vision from my church for I am the Lord I speak I feel the Holy Ghost God help me keep it together for I am the Lord I I speak and the word which I speak will come to pass it will no more be postponed Look at your neighbor and tell him, oh God, it will no more be postponed. I have come to announce to you, none of God's words are going to be postponed. Watch this. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word and perform it. I want you to get it. 
He said, because there is such resistance, because there is such unbelief in your days, while all this rebellion is going on, I'm going to say a thing and manifest it. Look at your neighbor and say, somebody's about to know there's a God in your house. No, no, no. Look at your neighbor and say, somebody's about to know there's a God in your house. Oh, rebellious house, I will say the word in performance, says the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, look. The house of Israel is saying the vision that he sees is for many days from now. And he prophesies of times far off. Therefore say to them, thus says the Lord God, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the word which I speak will be done, says the Lord. What, what word are we dealing with? I need you to go to Ezekiel chapter uh, 13. And I need to read here a little bit. Ah, God help me. Are you here? And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy and say to those who prophesy out of their own heart, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. I need you to pay attention who follow their own spirits and have seen. In other words, they're coming up with stuff to say, but they're not saying what I'm saying. <sighs> Who, oh Israel, your prophets are like foxes in the deserts. You have not gone up into the gaps to build a wall for the house of Israel to stand in, the, in battle on the day of the Lord. They have envisioned futility and false divination, saying, Thus says the Lord, but the Lord has not sent them. Yet they hope that the word may be confirmed. <laughs> and, and in other words, you're a professional preacher. You got a church, so you're doing what you got to do every Sunday. But God's not talking to you or through you. And his people are not being strengthened, edified, taught, or equipped. Ain't nobody saying nothing to me, but I'm reading the word of the Lord. Uh, they have envisioned futility and false divination. They say, thus says the Lord, but the Lord has not sent them. Yet they hope the word may be confirmed. Have you not seen a futile vision? And have you not spoken false di divination? You say, the Lord says, but I have not spoken. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have spoken nonsense and envisioned lies... Therefore, I am indeed against you, says the Lord God. My hand will be against the prophets who envision futility and who divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. In other words, God is about to move false prophets out of his house. Now, I need you to hear me. Nor be, they shall not be in the sin of my people, nor be written in the record of the house of Israel, nor shall they enter the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Because indeed, because they have seduced my people, saying peace when there is no peace. And one builds a wall and they plaster it with untempered mortar. Say to those who plaster it with untempered mortar that it will fail. There will be flooding and rain and great hailstones shall fall. Uh, go down to verse 13. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will cause a stormy wind to break forth in my fury, and there shall be a flooding rain in my anger. Go down to verse number, uh, whoo, Jesus, 15. Thus I will accomplish my wrath on the wall, and on those who have plastered with untempered water, and I will say to the wall, is no more, nor those who have plastered. That is, the prophets of Israel who prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and who see visions of peace for her when there is no peace. Now, what was... <laughs> what was what was god speaking to ezekiel about there were there were prophets that were prophesying to israel peace when god had said the king of babylon was coming and destruction was about to hit god had revealed to his real prophets jeremiah ezekiel and others there is trouble coming you need to be sober you need to be vigilant you need to be watchful you need to be in prayer you need to be prepared but there was another group of prophets that were just preaching good news hallelujah bless me sermons not equipping the people of god are you still here and and they're probably I mean, now watch this look at verse number 17 Likewise, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people. 
who prophesy out of their own heart prophesy against them and say thus says the Lord woe to the women who sew magic charms on their sleeves and make veils for the heads of people of every height to hunt souls will you hunt the souls of my people and keep yourselves alive and will you profane me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread prophesying going to soothsayers and witches and warlocks killing people who should not die and keeping people alive who should not live by your lying to my people who listen to lies therefore thus says the Lord God the magic charms by which you hunt souls like the birds I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go in other words the souls that you have imprisoned with witchcraft are about to be set free the souls you hunt like birds God I feel you I will tear off your veils and deliver my people out of your hand and they shall no longer be as a prey in your hand then you shall know that I am the Lord because the lies you have made because with the lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad whom I have not made sad and you have strengthened the hands of the wicked so that he does not turn from his wicked way to save his life therefore you shall no longer envision futility nor practice divination for I will deliver my people out of your hand and you shall know that I am the Lord I was reading this and, and the Lord told me to do it this way I was reading this and the Lord said to me the, the, the spirit of prophecy came on me and the Lord said I shall now begin says the Lord to judge those who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized I need you to, he said who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized that means if you're in a pulpit or in a psychic shop if you are dealing with spirits that are unholy you're about to be ejected I shall now begin says the Lord to judge those who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized who have wandered and toyed in that dimension making merchandise of my people and bringing deception on the land for this shall be a major judgment in the land says the Lord and it shall be seen beginning in my house for did I not say to you that this would be a year of the raising of the voice and the opening of the door to those who have been steadfast and unshakable and have been qualified through the shift of the last four years to speak for me and on my behalf did I not tell you that the time of harvest shall also be the time of sifting and the separating of the wheat from the tear are you there and so it shall be and now so it shall begin even in my house shall it begin says the Lord for watch now and see I shall employ the elements the wind and the storm to bring some down understand this and when you see this the Lord says for a major house shall in these days be brought down because they have neither sounded the alarm nor prepared my people for battle says the Lord. And when the Lord said that to me I saw a major ministry being shaken are you here I said are you here hear the word of the Lord and he said and this will be a signal for when you see it know that I have begun to judge the spirit of sorcery of false divination and false vision says the Lord in the land in other words God said I'm about to judge false divination witchcraft spirits be they in pulpits or at the mall y'all aren't hearing me be that you're not listening because see God's got to get his people free from every witchcraft deceptive spirit whether it's in a pulpit or in a shopping center y'all aren't hearing me he says you shall see it then know that it's began I have begun to judge the spirit of sorcery and of false divination and false vision of them the spirit of the Lord said to me in 2024 he is gonna judge the spirit of sorcery in America witches witchcraft sorcery 
divination, psychics, manipulation, in pulpits, or in the mall. I don't know what he is. Now, why is this important? He says, then it shall go forth into the street and the sorcerer and the psychic and the teller of fortunes by fallen spirit shall be undone. I'm going to read that again. Then shall it, it shall go forth into the street and the sorcerer and the psychic and the teller of fortunes by fallen spirits shall be undone. Now, when the spirit of God was saying this to me, what he was showing me is I'm about to bind witchcraft off. A generation of people see the Bible says y'all aren't hearing me Woo! the Bible says if our gospel is hidden it is hidden from whom those from whom the God of this world has blinded their mind in other words he has bewitched the minds of people and they can't see truth there is a spirit of darkness on a generation and God says he is lifting it in 2024 that means a whole lot of people are going to see Jesus for who he really is now watch this he says and I will loose the hold of the spirit of witchcraft on a generation in this nation says the Lord and many shall begin to see and to know that I am the Lord the God of heaven and earth the Lord of the harvest the God of the angel armies of Israel for they my angel armies are now engaged and ready to perform my word as my people see hear and declare it says the Lord and yes they shall hasten to perform it says the Lord of hosts declare this declare it to my people and prophesy it to the cities I need you my intercessors to hear God said prophesy this to the city prophesy to Los Angeles prophesy to Chicago prophesy to to Dallas prophesy to Miami prophesy to New York prophesy to Denver witches and warlocks and spirits of divination are being broken